Hi there, it's Jeff here with some economics news. The UK junk food advertising ban has come into effect. Now you can see from this chart the significant increase in measured obesity in the UK over the last 22 years. 30% of women, 28% of men were obese in 2022, up significantly from the turn of the millennium. So this is a, a command and control regulation banning less healthy or so-called junk food and drink adverts. In TV, the adverts are banned before the 9pm watershed. They're banned at all times online for paid advertising. And it applies to a, quite a wide range of products high in fat, salt and sugar. So what's the economic justification for this? Well, HFSS foods are classic demerit goods that tend to be overconsumed in part because consumers are ignoring the long-term costs of their consumption decisions. And there are also negative externalities of consumption. Obesity is, is estimated to cost the NHS well over £10 billion per year. So think about the diagram you could draw there, an AQA, where the social benefit is lower than the private benefit. Or for Edexcel, social cost is above private cost. Taste and convenience are the main drivers of junk foods, as you can see from this 2024 uh, YouGov survey. Will the ban work? Well, obviously it's too early to tell, but the government estimates the prevention of around 20,000 obesity cases per year. It sounds a lot, but is this significant relative to the size of the total population? Uh, critics argue that nutritious options need to be more affordable and accessible. And obviously this advertising ban does nothing to address that. And under the terms of the ban, firms can still advertise their brand, not just the specific unhealthy product. So that light might limit the impact and the effectiveness of this junk food advertising ban.